Hello, and welcome back to another episode of this Hot to Fool a Boyfriend. And I know I'm probably saying it wrong, but we're going to save real fast on a, on a different line. Another giant question mark. What are we going to do today? I'm going to attend... I think I'm going to do gym class today. Today is calisthenics. Uh, Ryota, you're in high school and you still can't do a chin-up? What's a, he's a bird. Don't, don't look at me like that. You're making me feel like a failure. Sorry. God. Maybe it's because you are a failure. Jezima leveled up. Vitality. Vitality increased by five. Yay. Today is Tana... Tan... Tanabata. Tanabata. Okay. Um... Yeah, uh, this game can be played through multiple times. I heard a rumor. I heard a little a little birdie told me that if you beat the game with all the endings, something special happens at the end. So if you want to see more of this after this playthrough is done, we'll do it. There's probably a bamboo tree here in the plaza this year, too, I, th I think. I'll go make a wish. There it is. I think what we do is we write down wishes on a piece of paper, and then we put it on the bamboo. Oh, there's lots of uh, already here. Any birdie I know? May my mother stay healthy this year, and may my stomach get better. Ryuta. Don't look at other people's wishes! In Impossible est pas friends. So that's from, um... I know only two words in that, but that's from the younger of the two brothers, right? Yeah. Can you hear the song of the stars above? May uh, they send happiness, Monami. Yayuda. I think Ayuda likes me. <laughs> oh. Okay, I know who that belongs to. Where's the pudding? Morning conference is at 10 a.m. Leave uh, 30 minutes early. Buy another alarm clock. May I wake up in time. Uh, Nanaki. Wednesday is garbage day, remember? <coughs> Pardon me. What should I wish for? Conquer the world by force, rule the world from the shadows, and become a famous artist. Rule the world from the shadows? I want to become a famous artist. I wish to become a famous artist whose work is known all over the world. Pardon me for just a second. Okay. Hello, caster. Is that you? Mr. Nanaki? Um, here's a little side thing here. I ended up getting some moisturizing mouth spray. It really helps if you do a lot of voice work or a lot of let's plays or a lot of talking. You just spray it and it's just a lot easier. I, I have it for coughs and if you notice my voice stops scratching. It's not scratchy um, as much as it was when I do use it. I'm pointing it at the fucking microphone like you can see it. I'm almost out of it. I have to get more. It's called uh, Exeltal or something. I can't fucking pronounce it. But this stuff is amazing. If you have a scratchy voice or you talk a lot and you have issues... Grab this shit and spray a couple, you know, sprays in your mouth and you'll be just fine. Mr. Nanik! Bleh. You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. Okay, am I just a really tiny person or are they really giant birds? Um, they can't be the same size. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk to your... I don't want you to know where I live! Isn't this the teacher? Um... Yes, please. Want to get some coffee? <laughs> All right. Fuck. Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Look at my spoon. Your house is very rustic, Caster. Get the fuck out of my house. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? What, do you live at the school? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. I think he does live in the school. Um, sir, see you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left, a somewhat hollow surrounding farewell echo echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Daru. Ooh, what's going to happen next? I'm so excited. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. 
We're gonna do music class again. I'll do wisdom after that. I've been placed in charge of the timpani today. Is that the right word? Last time it was last time it was the gong. What am I supposed to be? A musical gorilla? Jasmine leveled up. Charisma increased by five. I'm so excited. We're having uh we're having a swimming class with third years today. And these uh, all these damp, tight clinging feathers are making my heart race. No, it's not. No, it's definitely not. I thought they were gonna put them in bathing suits. That'd be so fucking funny. Salutations, Sayuka. The wet looks suit you well. Oh, look at all those sexy wet birds. Mm. Do you mock me? Hardly. I'm praising you. I'm proud to have such a handsome little brother. Wink. Come back to my house. Your very act of speaking to me is an insult, mongrel. You probably can't even swim. Oh, I wonder. Want to decide who's faster once and for all, little brother? Sorry for all the pausing. I'm coughing. Fool! We've already, we already know who the victor will be. Probably not either of you. But to ignore a challenge would be a disgrace to my name. Very well. Mon ami? Yes? Will you be our judge? I shall judge your noble combat with all possible fairness, except for I'm picking the older brother. Of course! I wonder if I can get with them both. Just out of curiosity, who do you think will win? Probably. Can I say it's going to be a tie? <laughs> Why do I have to pick? I think Ayuta's going to win because his tail feathers aren't as big as Sayuka's, uh, Sakuya's. I think you will win, Ayuka. You're ripped. And Sayuka's all fluff. What? I think you wanted me. I'll swim my fastest for you. He's the older brother. You can tell. I just picked who I liked now. They dive with perfect synchronization. Yikes! They're both fast, even though their skeletal structure isn't designed for it at all. It was awfully close, but in the end... Pant pant. So who won, Monami? It was almost close, too close to tell, but... Ayuda was a little faster. Explanation point! Well, there you have it, little brother. I can, I can hear Saku's uh, uh, grinding his beak in frustration. This is some sort of mistake. I demand a rematch! Sure, I'm always happy, happy to take you on. Yayuda looks pleased. Maybe he's happy because he got to talk to Sayuka? Actually, I just said his name wrong. We finished our finals are back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Caster! Oh, fuck. Yes, sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work for doing nothing at all. Yes, sir. Success! If you want to see more dating sims and the like, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seems long and sometimes it seems short, but either way, it's summer now. I think Sayuka, right, no, Sa <laughs> Sakuya, I've been calling him Sayuka, and that's wrong, um, said to help him clean the council room before going home. He always gets angry if I make him wait, so I should hurry. He's not going to pull out his plumage or something, is he? You're late. I came as fast as I could. Sorry, uh... I'm sorry, Sakuyo. Let's start cleaning. Very well. First, move that shelf on the chairs. There's dust underneath. Oh, he's gonna tell me what to do. Okay. Next, inside the cupboard. Arrange the files by date. Okay. And then the floor. Polish it at least three times. And the windows. Hold on, you're telling me to do all this by myself? Who else is there? You bonehead! Oh, you know what? I would think that he could use his tail just to sweep all the dust away. Maybe I should stand up to him. I'm going to. You help too, you fuck! He needs a dominant woman in his life. Suka, I am the vice president, not the chairwoman. Is that so? My job is to help you, so maybe you should be taking the lead role and clean up. That's why I'm giving you orders. No, jeez, that's not what I meant. Here's a mop. Work. I, you, what? You know how to use it, right? Let's get started. 
Now he's in love with me because I told him what to do. Don't tell me you've never. Of course not. Talk about living in the lap of luxury. What a dick. And so... Sakuya reluctantly helped me clean. I thought I might he might complain for a while, but he certainly can be obedient. Now, then the sooner we finish, the sooner we get to go home. Yay! I told a bird what to do. It's so easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Am I going to meet with the pudding guy again? Am I the only human living in the bird city? Oh, are these other places I can go? What? What happened there? Is this like the future and I'm like one of the last humans left and all the birds just got giant from radiation? Ah, it was a good run. A true running girl's way to start a vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Hmm. Where am I? Some random house or dojo. I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Oh, great, I'm lost. Go to Google. Don't fail me now. Paleothonic homing instinct, wrong word. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you. What? Is that the doctor? Oh no, he's some random guy. Oh, what's up with the music? Oh my god, I'm scared. I don't know you. Where'd you come from? The sparrow stands next to me, squinting up in my... S s squinting? Up in my face. Oh. It's the caster blaster. Her wing resting on a motor scooter. Oh, it's a female! It looks a little bit vintage. How cute! Da -da! I feel a strange pressure. I can't tell right away that the sparrow just isn't a, uh, any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Uh, Pigeations, and I was out on a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about an hour drive, two hour drive from here. God, I'm a good runner. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Ah, uh, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm, you gonna give me a ride home, bitch? I like the cut of your jib. Anyone determined to deserves a ride home, come on. Do I get to see what you look like? The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Can I be a lesbian? Well, thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Is Koshihiba, uh, Kosh Koshiba Azami. I sell Tokoyaki. Call me Azami. Thank you, Azami. Do I get to see what he, she looks like? Do I get to see what she looks like? No, I don't. Dot, 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 dot. You're a very cautious driver. I'm gonna save real fast because I don't wanna fuck this up. Another question mark. Uh, carve it into your soul, kid! One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both of our lives. You're not wearing a helmet. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once I've lost, once you've lost someone, you'll understand. What did you kill your boyfriend? Did you guys like drunk one night, and you were in the back, and he was in the front of a scooter, and you guys didn't have your helmets on, and you crashed, and he died? Hmm. There's a far off look in her eye. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for the scooter is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my... Credo? Isn't riding a tandem against the law, too? That's the rule for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. No music. But I'm not a bird. And so we put, put it along at a zombie's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. It took me all day to get home. It isn't a long time. and It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance. I'll... Please let me be a maid. Get a job. 
I want to be a maid at one of those uh, uh, coffee bars. I think I saw a filler station hiring high school students over there. Oh, uh, a flyer at a station hiring high school students over the summer. It was a cafe. Yes, cafe! Fuck you! <laughs> Sorry. It's beautiful in here. Look at all the sexy-ass birds. Oh, my. Oh, who are you? Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. Are you a boy or a girl? It has to be a boy because of the colors. If you could come back and... Uh, Oh, sorry. I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. Older man glasses? Maybe black hair? All the students at the school are young and hyper. And, uh, the, and the, the most dignified birds are the teachers. And the the most. Oh, isn't, is that right? Forgive me. I am called Urushi Hira Hara Urushi Hara Kenza Buru 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 I am the owner of the Tonami Cafe. I am Castor Jesdema. I'm sorry I butchered your name. Welcome, Miss Jesdema. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me with the background music that I've heard before? I hope I don't get flagged. I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. Are you going to molest me? And I believe you will be much more capable than I am at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I have hands, you fucker! Okay. I'll be glad to. After all, I am a vital vitality girl. I shall be relying on you for this summer then, Miss Jesdema. Do I can see what you look like? It's perhaps a little sudden. Will you marry me? Yes, I'll start tomorrow! Of course. I'm glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. <laughs> tomorrow then, Miss Jesdema. Bye! I work tomorrow. So today's, today's my first day working at Mr. Urushida Cafe. Actually, I should say it right. Uru, Urushihara's. Urushihara? I think that's right. I'm probably wrong. Um, I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. What kind of cafe is it, though? Is it like a dating cafe? You know, where the guys and girls are really pretty and you sit there and drink coffee with them and stuff? Good morning, Miss Chestema. Good morning, sir! Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can and find something. Where do you poop? He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small, and he keeps everything tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all! Well then, what do you think? It's shit. It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come on now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Are you hitting on me? Actually, compared to my how... Excuse me. Oh, Ryuta. Um, I saw the flyer at the station and... Ryuta! Jesdema, what are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Jesdema? Oh, yes. This is Ryuta. You came for the job, too, Ryuta? I mean, you came for the job, too, Ryuta? Yeah, I saw it and started. it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit in, in, in after my other job. But you've already got the position, then that's that. Maybe I should give up my job. Um, Mr. Urushihara? Urushihara? Could you use two people to do? Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should... Do the job I was hired for. Or No, I need to do the job I was hired for, because Ryuda already has a fucking job. Get your own goddamn job! Um, I'm sorry, Ryuda, but I really want to do this. Don't worry about it, Jezdema. I got a couple more places to check. Perhaps some other time. I will be here if you're looking for something later on. You just said there wasn't enough room for two people. I'll keep that in mind, sir, you stupid dick. This has been Jezumel. I've been playing Hats of Foul Boyfriend, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time for another episode of this. Goodbye.